Hello, hello world! Tuesday. Hubby says, you do know that on Tuesdays I play music at night. That's why I I uh, come home late, right? I said, no, no one told me. It's okay. Hibale ko gatog. Ay, ay, ay. Tuesday meeting again. Meeting again. Kasaway ko sa akong bana world. Ngun siya eh. Are you going to a fashion show or something? I'm like, why? <laughs> my shoes has bling. Ngun na yung aroy akong bana eh. Bantay lang dyan ka uli ni mo niya. Hi, beta world. Tuesday. Mamugas na punta. Koyong the world. My garden up in the front looks like a mess. It's a mess. I need to do gardening. <laughs> Maybe next week, God willing. Go yung the world. Awa world. Tugnaw na po. It's foggy. I think it rained. La 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 la. La 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 la. I've been getting a lot of messages from new subscribers in Manila and Quezon City. Shout out to our new subscribers in Manila. Kumusta na po kayo dyan? I hope kayong lahat nasa mabuting kalagayan. Kumusta cousin Irene Rose Suiko? I should tell everybody that when I was growing up, my father, I hope he's resting and looking down at us laughing, he wouldn't let me speak Tagalog. I don't know why, he, he bought three televisions, big ones, the one with a case, and one for the kids. One for my mom because she only watched Tagalog, you know, soap opera. Um, and he watched only English. So he bought one TV upstairs, I think it was, for my mom. <laughs> he doesn't want to hear the Tagalog. <laughs> and then um, at night, you know, after studying, when we can't sleep, he would say, Come watch TV with me. Uh, no, I want to watch, you know, what my mom was watching, the Tagalog. It's like, eh, that's not good. It won't help you. I guess it would. It would help me in school, you know, at school. And there's still Filipino language, Filipino subject, right? He doesn't like it. And I have no idea why he just preferred English. So... <laughs> growing up and in all honesty he only did it, did this to me he won't let me play and i was always reading pocket books english only pocket books reader's digests the plain truth encyclopedia britannica the bible missiles um, national geographic ian fleming's pocket books in all of the james bond episodes I had to read to him and he would take me to Plaza Independencia Cebu when I was five uh, I was in first grade at five years old and he would put me on one of the stage there I don't know if the stage is still there but there was one a big stage at Plaza Independencia when I was a little girl and then he would tell me to pretend I'm holding a mic and I'm talking to the public so 
I, no, I don't really have any song. The only one I know is Ako ay Pilipino. So I would be like, Ako ay Pilipino. Parang loka loka ba? <laughs> when I was a little girl, but I did what my father, you know, told me to do. It made him happy, and I didn't know what he was thinking. So I would sing Ako ay Pilipino, Ako ay Pilipino, or Bahay Kubo. But yeah, that one time I was singing Ako ay Pilipino, my dugong mahalika. Because I learned it from my older sisters, Susie and Grace. They were at a higher level grade in school. And my dad would immediately, he immediately stopped me. Don't do that, that's Tagalog. Do something in English. English. Anything in English. But I've read somewhere, I would be like thinking about something. I would say, I am looking for a man. Man? <laughs> My father would get mad. <laughs> I would do something to piss him off, but make him laugh, you know, towards the end. So I'm like, I read this somewhere and I memorized it. I don't know how I memorized it, but it's stuck in my brain. It's like, okay, go ahead. I'm watching over here and pretend that there's millions of us watching. <laughs> okay, I am looking for a man, not just an ordinary man, but the Filipino. I am looking for him because I need him. I need him because I need to find the meaning, a true synthesis of my life, my country, my people. And to this day, all that is still stuck in my head and in my heart. And my father goes, yes, yes, you're going to be successful someday. I have no idea what he was talking about. So looking back when I was in high school, I realized that I wasn't shy. I was always opening up to people and I was always talking and, you know, I, I was like a teenager but like a 40 year old teenager if you understand what I mean <laughs> I was a young girl with an old soul I think and all because of my dad it's like I hang out with younger students and for some reason I was always thinking ahead so anyway I'm saying this just to share to parents out there if you have small kids or if you're planning to have kids that helped me in life, you know, becoming successful as what they say and um, self-confidence really helps out with who you want to become and what you aspire for in life. If you're not shy and you have a good uh, head over your shoulders and you continue to keep humble no matter, you know, what the universe throws at you, it helps. So that's what my father did. And growing up, I was never afraid to speak up. All the while, still listening to older people around me. And I have carried that with me when I came to the United States. I only, mostly hang out with older people. And they've become my mentors most of them have passed away but I was always surrounded by good older people and they taught me so many things in life how to invest what career to take um, how to defend yourself so you know listening to many older people a bunch of mentors surrounding me good people and I picked and choose what I can do and what I cannot. So they said, learn how to defend yourself. Okay, I learned arnis, I learned karate. I went to law school for a few years and that way no one can push me around, you know, if that should happen. It never did, but I was able to help a lot of people, you know, for immigration, divorces, annulments, uh, marriages and I went to business school and that helped me a lot with landing a good job I took some federal classes in Washington DC and every year I had to renew it 
got my li licenses and it pushed me up even more as far as careers go. Now all these don't mean anything because it's given me a lot of material things. I try and keep my life very simple. Small house, you know, like no maid, no gardener. I'm doing everything because it keeps me grounded and doing everything on my own with no help keeps me humble and always looking back at where I came from. Anyway, like I said, if you have kids or wanting or planning to have kids someday, try and teach your kids to speak up and not be afraid. Try and teach them self-confidence yet discipline. So there's balance. Um, all the while still teaching them to to respect elders and to respect other people's opinions. It helps in life. Anyway, awa. Abot na ko! So today I want to thank my father in heaven for making me the person who I am today. I owe a lot from him. We always talked outside the house and when I was younger, when there's trouble in the family, mag-away sila ni mama. My mom always say, hmm, because you're the favorite, go talk to him. Ask him about your different subjects at school. So I was like, wow, I'm so in English sa alambre. Di sa kaiba na good ko. Nga ako da yung i-pretend nga naglista ko sa iya ng bisulti. Nga no nga ang rainbow paas kaayo niya o sahay mo bu. Ako nasang ilista. My dad doesn't tell me the right answer. And I would tell him, it's wrong. My teacher said it's wrong. <laughs> and say, well, if it's wrong, why don't you go to the public library? Malakaw rin na. It's nearby and tell me what the correct answer is. At to sa gitong kumaghuat sa public library, they open at 11.30. So, magdagan-dagan dyan kong at to research about rainbows, about tadpoles, about the moon to discuss with my father that evening and to prove him that he was wrong with whatever answer he gave me. <laughs> Mauna akong life sa una. Studios, kaayo ko sa una world. And then later on, I was able to help other students and then I would take them group study. First, we would go to the Blessed Sacrament in Mandawi, St. Joseph's Church. Light a candle, say a prayer, and then at Tuda Yun Misa Public Library. <laughs> Some people called me Brainiac. Maoto sila ang wala na ko natagay o free assignment. <laughs> Time's so <up. laughs> Ay, 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 itog na. Masa pa akong buhukur. Nitaw eh, tabi ano, dyan ako eh. Kani ako mga tambag no, istorya-istorya rin eh, pero maugin ni siya itinood world and I hope doon ay makatunan ang mga batan on ba. Maura na ang akong wishes. I hope doon ay makatunan ang mga batan on and even the parents because it's truly hard being a parent and you don't think outside the box sometimes you just take it along as you go and some people are really young parents you know in their 20s and everyone needs guidance no matter the age net world abot naman ko aloha na lang and then god bless have a good day bye bye